Tom Anderson walked across a dry patch of the Salton Sea's expanding beach five years ago. The Fish and Wildlife Service project manager was showing off an area on the eastern edge of California's largest lake. He dragged his black work boots across the crusty surface, turning it into fine dust. On a windy day, it just is like billowing clouds of that fine material off of the playa. The lake was shrinking even then because the Imperial Irrigation District sold some of their Colorado River water to San Diego. The pace of the retreat jumped dramatically a few years ago, and now thousands of acres of lake bed are exposed to the desert winds. The state is finally ready to help. The notion of this shrinking sea and the emissive um, dust from the seabed uh, is really alarming and concerning to local residents, and we understand that. California is spending money to cover 4,000 acres of exposed lake bed with shallow water and habitat. It's the first of many dust control and wildlife habitat projects on the southern edge of the lake that Crowfoot says could end up costing billions of dollars. Uh, It's a long time in coming. There's a real impatience and an understandable impatience of residents in Imperial and Riverside counties about uh, restoration, stabilization of the sea. California agreed to take on Salton Sea restoration when the Colorado River users and the federal government signed the Quantification Settlement Agreement in 2003. That deal cleared the way for the Imperial Irrigation District to sell its water to urban areas like San Diego. It also cut the flows of water into the thirsty desert lake, exposing thousands of acres of dusty lake bed. Every time we're peeling, peeling back every inch of that playa, we're exposing over 100 years of contaminated sediment. Community activist Luis Olmedo has worked for years to draw attention to the valley's dirty air, which affects air quality from Los Angeles to Mexico. You know, the entire air basin uh, from Coachella, Imperial, Mexicali, uh, we all share the air. It, it has, uh, at least in the, in the U.S. side, California side, we failed to meet federal standards. Farms, trucks, and cross-border factories all combine to heighten the public health risk, and Imperial County residents suffer the most. Is it because we're over 85 percent Latinos, people of color, living in poverty, that we're not worth that investment? You know, and here now we have the salt and sea, you know, to add, in, you know, salt to injury, you know. It is a situation that continues to get worse. Since the QSA was signed, some 24,000 acres of playa have been exposed. Uh, and then the projections are it could be another 40 to 60,000 acres, um, not accounting for the water use by the projects themselves. Um, some projections suggest it could be 100,000 acres of lake bed could be exposed. The public health threat adds urgency. So does the lake's unique role in Western water politics. The Imperial Irrigation District is the single largest user of the Colorado River's water, And Cohen says the IID managers hope to leverage that power in upcoming negotiations to funnel money into Salton Sea restoration efforts. That creates some difficult choices. Should the people and the birds, uh, the people in the environment, suffer uh, to deliver additional water to uh, people on the coast of California and to protect uh, flows to Nevada and Arizona and, and the Republic of Mexico? The pressure to act increases as the river's flow diminishes. The Colorado River Basin is already in a two-decades-long drought, and the Salton Sea issues can't be sidelined. The real driver now is climate change. Less water flowing down the river means there is less drinking water for growing urban areas. The reduced flows also put extra pressure on California officials trying to keep the Salton Sea from becoming a public health disaster. Eric Anderson. KPBS News.